Hey guys, in this video we will be seeing what is BCG matrix. Now it is a topic of uh, strategic management subject which is a subject of management. So let's get started. We will understand what is BCG matrix. So uh, first of all in the first slide we will see what is BCG matrix. A short introduction for this BCG matrix. So first point is telling that it is a graphical representation tool which is used by the companies in order to study the value of its products and services inside the market. Now consider a market and inside market there are many players, there are many competitors, many rivalries, right? So these competitors might produce similar products and you have a company inside this market and you are also producing that similar kind of product. Now what's the value of your product and what's the stand of your product or service inside this market? So BCG matrix will tell you what's your value of the product, what's the value of your product, right? And this will be in the graphical form. So it is called as, uh, so it is a graphical representation tool, which is used by the companies in order to analyze their products. Second point tells us that it is a two by two matrix in which there are four squared shape sales, or we can also say that it has uh, four quadrants. There are four things inside that matrix, one, two, three, four. What are those things? We'll see in the later slides. But for now, we'll understand that it is a two by two matrix, right? There are four cells inside that. The third point says that it is a concept which analyzes the product lines of the company. Now, for example, you have a company named as XYZ, right? XYZ company produces four different product lines. First one is the radio. We'll be seeing that in the example in the in the later slides, but for now I'm just giving a brief introduction. Your company is producing uh, your company is having four product lines. That means you are producing radio, you are producing TV television, you are producing uh, laptops, and the last one is you are producing mobile phones. So these are the four product lines, and we have to analyze what kind of product, what what product line is standing where right so we'll understand this the next point says that it is developed by bruce d henderson he is a person who was working for boston consulting group if i'm not wrong you can correct me in the comment section below he was working for the boston consulting group in 1970 and so he developed uh, this bcg matrix concept in order to have some study right uh, if i'm wrong if, if i'm wrong you can correct me in the comment section so the name of the company that is boston consulting group and so is the name of this matrix so is the name of this concept that is bcg matrix the next point is saying that uh, i've just uh, briefly mentioned over here that it is a topic of strategic management subject strategic management is a subject in management so it is a concept in strategic management now moving towards next slide here we will just understand the elements of this bcg matrix now there are many elements as you can see there are four square shaped cells in which there is a written star cash cow question mark and dog and you have two axes one is the x-axis this market share this is the x-axis and this one is the y-axis on where you have the market growth so there are two axes uh, the two ends are high and low respectively of each of these axes right there are two axes and there are four cells with the help of which we'll understand this matrix right so here i have given some description over here the x-axis uh, is of market share uh, briefly it is called as relative market share now i'll be simply using the word market share but actually it is relative market share right uh, market share means what how much uh, how much sales you are doing your company is doing right so for example your company is selling mobile phones and there are n number of competitors inside the market now when you are selling your mobile phone so what's the share of your mobile phone considering all of those competitors mobile phones those competitors will also sell the mobile phones right so what's your share inside that market considering mobile phone product so x-axis will tell that market share of the specific product right so it is the relative market share now y-axis will tell you the market growth 
which is further elaborated as market or industry growth rate now this is the growth rate now uh, let's take the same example consider you have the product mobile phone right so now you might be knowing that mobile phone market is growing at a rapid rate at a very rapid rate yes so here the market or industry growth rate is very high right so on the y-axis you have market growth or you can also say that as industry growth rate mobile industry considering our example so this is the y-axis here you have the high section and at the at the bottom you have low section next point is saying you have x and y axis these ranges from high to low as stated over here in this diagram high and low high and low right next point says that it has four sales or quadrants the first cell is star second is cash cow third one is question mark and fourth is the dog so these are four cells you can go anyhow from star cash cow question mark to dog or from dog question mark cash cow or star you can go this way or you can go this way right so these are the elements of bcg matrix now the next slide will tell you the actual description the actual bcg matrix so here's the situation i have created two situations that is work from home and the online classes and this considering this covid 19 pandemic yeah so these are two situations work from home is for working professionals and online classes is for the students right and i need to again uh, think of these five topics further first is the market growth market share revenue generation investment and divestment so these are those five uh, these are those five things which i need to think right in order to run my company now my company i have a company named as xyz right uh, this is just for example, okay, I, I am having a company named XYZ and I am running four different product lines in my company Manufacturing of four products. There are four product lines uh, of my company First one is the radio Second one is the TV third is the laptops and fourth is the mobile phone Now here you will see the pie chart. This will show the market share of the products like radio the yellow portion will show radio gray portion is of tv uh, uh, orange portion is of laptops and blue portion is of the star performing product that is the mobile phone right so here you can relate while i am explaining this diagram okay now coming towards the diagram the first section the bottommost section is dog now dog section is that section where all of your products will lie who have very low or you can say low market growth there's no growth in this product right uh, they have low market growth as well as they also have low market share i mean you can understand if there's a low growth these products will not be sold inside the market and eventually they will not generate any cash they will not generate any revenue so these ty such types of products which are uh, which do not generate any money or which does not have any growth will lie under this section that is the dog section dog section okay so these are those products now i need to think in this section whether i need to invest continue invest in this radio section or i need to divest of course yeah I need to divest from this section and invest in some other section right so i'll be divesting from this section and i'll be investing in the tv section which is of question mark now this section is actually a question mark for the company itself because this is the situation where company does not know whether they will succeed or it will lead to failure considering their product okay so in this section i have the product of tv i have a product tv okay for these uh, working professionals and students now uh, online classes can be done on tvs right those big screens they can enjoy big screens right but uh, there's no way of communication between the between you and the other person sitting at the other end right there's no communication how will you com communicate via a television 
so this is the big question now here you have growth right tv is just not used for doing online classes or uh, doing work from home doing meetings they are not used for those purpose purposes but for other purposes as well like for watching netflix web series movies and other tv shows right so there's actually growth there's actually growth in the market for tv but the market share of tv is not high because every now and then people will not buy tv right they are so much big and it needs a huge investment so people will not buy tv every now and then and henceforth it will come under low category section under market share means a uh, less number of tvs will be sold and it will generate less revenue for the company now here again i need to think whether i need to continue investing in the tv section or whether i should move further divest from the question mark section and invest in the cash cow section now cash cow section is having my third product line that is the laptop now as you all know laptop is a must a computer is a must for working professionals for students for other things as well for playing games for doing any kind of stuff a computer machine is required right so laptop there's a growth but not high the growth is low but it will be sold every now and then large number of people not only these working professionals not only students but other people as well they will buy laptop right so laptop will be sold and revenue will be generated for the company now this section that is the third section the cash cow section which i am talking about is the stability section here company uh, will choose either to move forward either to invest in the star product section or they will continue with this product line or they can wish to continue with this product line also right so there is a choice over here some companies need stability they wish to have a stable working environment other companies wish to perf uh, wish to outperform right now i wish to outperform i will divest from this cash cow section and i will further invest in the star product section which is the mobile phone now each and every person right from the teenager to the old people right the senior citizens each and every person will at least use a mobile phone right so mobile phone market is a huge market there's a huge growth there's a tremendous uh, there's a tremendous growth in this industry mobile industry so it will lie under the high uh, growth rate section as well as it will also come under high uh, market share section because uh, every now and then mobiles are getting sold right so i will generate lots of amount of revenue for my company now from a list of category of people most of the time students will buy or either the working professionals will buy right uh, for their day to day activities day to day tasks uh people will buy mobile phones so mobile phone will have a huge demand and also the market share for mobile phone product will be also high so that is, this is that section okay so this is the bcg matrix now a quick summary of this bcg matrix again now you can skip the video uh here itself but if you need to again watch the summary you can continue with the video the first section which is at the bottom most is the dog section which have those products which don't have uh, market growth and which also don't have any market share so such products come under the section called dog the another section is question mark whether the uh, in uh, where the company doesn't know whether to invest continue investing in this question mark product or whether to divest from this product they don't know whether this product will lead to success or will lead to failure right so this is the second uh, second section known as question mark the third section is the cash cow here you can continuously keep generating revenue for your company but the growth for your product is low right you can continuously on a continuous basis you can keep generating revenue for your company but the growth is low some company chooses to have this stable environment while others uh, wishes to outperform the fourth section is the star section 
which uh, which which has tremendous amount of growth rate as well as tremendous amount of market share so this is all about bcg matrix there are four quadrants right this is all about bcg matrix and uh, the last slide of my video of this video is uh, bcg matrix also has other names like growth share matrix product portfolio boston matrix and portfolio diagram so these are the other names for bcg matrix and that's it guys from this video if you have any questions regarding this diagram or regarding this concept you can ask me in the comment section i'll be happy to answer to your queries so guys thanks for watching and have a nice day